first and foremost, yeah. so it's very interesting. So the the National Park Service, first of all, huge in terms of uh, sites all across the country. A lot of folks really don't necessarily know. There are over 417 sites in the National Park Service and 32 national programs that we administer to educate the public about American history, African American history included, yes. Now, are all these sites free? Most of them are. Some have free, uh, have fees that are charged for them. Um, most are free, open and to the public. And we talk about the locations. I mean, people know about you know the, the larger ones. They know about, but but what are some of the uh, locations that people may not be aware of that are really great and interesting? Well, we're here in New Orleans, and there is John Lafitte's uh, National Park and Preserve, as well as New Orleans Jazz National Park, uh, which are less than five miles away from NOLA Center and also around the French Quarter. Um, most Americans are less than 50 miles away from a national park. You may drive into and out of one every day and not know it. Now, I play golf, so are there any national park golf courses? Yes, actually there is one in D.C., Langston Golf right. Course. I played it. Yes, um, it is an African-American course in Washington, D.C., and it is open and free to the public. No, it ain't free. Well, not free to play. Because I paid. <laughs> and well, you should. We'd like you to pay more, right? Um, but to enter into the golf course, it is free to enjoy the atmosphere. It's a space away from the hustle and bustle of D.C. But, of course, there are fees to play. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, well, sounds great. How can folks get more information? Well, please go to our website, www.nps.gov. Um, G O V, and you can learn more about our national parks through our website. Cool. What's going on? Right. So, uh, you know, dog, and well, you don't go to a park. Well, I'm a board member for the National Park Foundation. So, do they allow cookouts in the, any of the parks? Well, actually, we have more experience than, than just cooking when we go to the parks. And the parks are uh, one of those uh, world wonders that we, as African Americans, don't have an opportunity to take advantage of. Not because the opportunity doesn't exist, but culturally, it's not something that we ever did. And as a result of that, we have to break that chain of not being a part of the parks and do what we can to basically take our whole people as our youth and basically take them into the parks, expose them to that such that we break that chain and then they begin to bring their kids and their kids' kids. But see, we used to go to Big Mama's house, you know, down south. So, you know, we didn't stop at National Park. So that's just part of our culture. All right, your favorite park? Zion National Park. Outstanding. Where is that? Zion is in Utah and it's probably two hours above uh, Las Vegas. And I Ain't hard to spot you in Utah. Well, you know, I took 21 members after I went to a board meeting. I took my father, who was 86, and my and a grandchild that was four, and all 21 of us went there. And from A to Z, we loved it. And I just is an experience that you just never thought that was right here in the United States. And I go all over the world, just like you, to find a great experience. But they're right here in the United States. And you know, being in Utah, that was a different experience. But it was a great experience. <laughs> something I, I was there for the Olympics. So. Well, something I'd never seen in my life. And it's just an awe. And okay. that's, that's, that's the type of things that we really have, but we never see it. Did y'all have any input on these uniforms? <laughs> we actually had a meeting just a week before last because there's a team trying to rethink what the uniforms should be in the future. And, and do you prefer them rethinking these uniforms? I absolutely concur. <laughs> For women, especially too, and cooler. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're a little warm, huh? Yeah. They are, they it's are. wool and polyester. Say it again? Wool and polyester. Wool and polyester. So really what you're looking for, y'all really are looking for some linen. Exactly. Yes, That'd something awesome. cool that breathes. <laughs> now, now, which park, where were you based? I'm at Jean Lafitte National Park here in Louisiana. And I'm at Jean Lafitte and Jazz National Historic Park, both of them right here, headquartered in New Orleans. And so why should, people, why should more Americans go to national parks? One good reason. <clears throat> They're your national parks. They belong to everybody. They tell us our story. They tell us the future. You know, it's a great place to interact and uh, meet friends, have barbecues, play golf. Cool. You can do anything in a national park service. All right. It's your tax dollars at work. You, you're, it's yours to come to. Everybody gives for it, so get back. All right, then. Well, I certainly appreciate it, and good luck on some cooler uniforms. Right, but, but the hat's not bad, though. The hat's good. The hat's the best part. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. All right, cool. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it.